guys! Welcome back to my channel and for today's topic, ayan, kasama natin si Daddy and si Baguets. Ayan. So, hindi ko mahanap yung nag-message na nag-comment about um, questions in terms of adjustment directly from them. I mean, from Baguets and Daddy, no? In terms of schools and all. So, but this topic um, para sa game, para mas manggaling mismo sa kanila magkakaroon ako ng tanong sa kanila mismo about their about school, ayan, okay kasi alam ko na na-discuss ko na to sa separate video ko may na-discuss na ako about about school, pero baka may, may mas gusto pa silang malaman um, about school here and all and the adjustment Eh, tatanungin na lang natin sila directly, no? Okay, number one is diversity. So, first of all, Daddy is working in in Baguette School District, no? As instructional assistant, meaning, um, mamaya, explain natin kung ano yung mga uh, different staff in their school, okay? So, number one is diversity in school. So, how is it, um... Ano yung diversity sa school nila, Marty? So, we're living in Carmel, Indiana. Um, 50% of people here are white. And 50% ay mixed races na. Like, um, Asians, Mexicans, Indians, right? So, ikaw, ikaw Marty. Mar <laughs> That's Marty, si Baguette. So, Marty, um, sa classmates mo, Majority of them are white or mixed din sila ng mga races. <laughs> ano ba? So, ano ba? Anong mga ano sila? Anong mga races nila like puti ba sila or what? Most of them white. Most of them are white and some of them are black and brown. Black and brown, but Filipinos ikaw lang. So, Filipino siya lang ang Filipino, the rest are White majority are white daw and then yun nga may brown, may brown. <laughs> brown and black ayan. But daddy in in, in a staff perspective, sa, sa buong school ba nila diverse din ba ang mga races? Diverse in a way or oh. pero majority siguro 80% white. Isa lang hindi, isa ang Pinoy, tapos may dalawang Indian, isang black, tapos the rest white na. Okay. So, in short, kami lang ang Filipino. Ever, right? Dali? Okay. So, school staffing and ratio. Um, sa inyo, sa inyo nak, uh, ilan kayo in class? Ilan ang section sa, sa level nyo? Ilan ang section? Mrs. Persian, Mrs. L, Mrs. D, Mrs. Four. Four. And then, how many students per each class? 84 25 ata 20, 20, 20 to 25 so it's like 100 no per class per class, per class. Per class. like in mrs Spurgeon's class how many so, 24 24 yeah because so, so sometimes they really like ask for for donation for snacks to a certain um, activity so most of the time that, that's why I know kasi ako yung bumibili syempre diba ako yung nag-grossin yung ano yung ibibigay so they have like 25 in her in his class but they have like four sections so 25 so it's like 25 50 100 yeah 100 in their level but daddy do you know but the in in whole elementary school how many students are there? Uh, total yata from kindergarten to grade 5, nasa 600 yata. 600. So, marami-rami kasi ang elementary guys nila rito ay from kinder up to grade 5. And then middle school is grade 6 to grade 9. Mm -hmm. Tama ba? Then, 10 to 12 are high school. Okay. Next, recess and lunch. So, sa atin kasi sa Pilipinas, ang recess, yun na yung break time. Diba? It's either recess na maikse and then lunch time. But both recess and lunch ay kainan. 
Okay, dito guys sa Amerika, ang recess is actually, ano daddy? Uh, playtime nila. Playtime. Hindi kainan. Lunch nila ang kainan. Lunch time. The recess is like the activities or parang it's their extra time for for themselves if they wanna if they just wanna read they wanna play with classmate chit chat ganyan so that's their recess parang um, me time nila no parang ganon play time okay this missile so this missile um gana sila kahigpe pwede bang basta na lang hatin sundo ganyan no. So, sa atin sa Pilipinas, guys, kapag up until grade 1, minsan hinahatid hanggang looban ng school, no? Dito, guys, hindi. Ida-drop off mo lang ang mga, ang mga bata and then may may mga custodians na nag-pick up sa, sa entrance and then they let the students enter the, the school. It's ng independent, ba? So, they're trying here to teach students how to be independent instead of like sa atin sa Pilipinas na masyad time natin binibaby yung mga mga anak natin eh, na atid natin pag ayaw nila oh sige na hat, ano natin talagang baby baby hanggang sa pag uwi susunduin pa sa loob ng classroom sa kanila rito hindi they really have to go with their advisors kung, kung carpool ka or school bus ka magkahiwalay Kung carpool, hinahatid naman sila dun sa carpool area kung saan pinipick up ng mga parents yung mga estudyante. Okay? Um, so, Marty, how are you in school? How would you... Are you happy ba in school? Na, nahirapan ka ba when you, when you... When you came here in the U.S.? Hard... Hard to... When I first came here, pero sobrang sobrang easy na later din. Hard because it's hard to make new friends. Hindi naman hard to make new friends, pero hindi ko na gigits with pie. <laughs> okay. Kasi well, nga... Kung ano yung lesson? Hmm. Uh, din. Yung mga yung way ng turo nila dito. Yeah. So, ang napansin namin, um, like yung sa math nga, there's, they have they have different paano ba, way of teaching them the concept kasi nung syempre as parents diba pag pag after school you have to go through with their subjects and whenever i whenever i i help marty with with his assignments i was like bakit Bakit kailangan, let's say sa multiplication, bakit kailangan gumamit itong mga, ng mga boxes and, and etc. Eh, sa Philippines, iba naman yung way of, yung teaching nga. So, ini-incorporate na lang namin, like, tinuturo namin pa rin kay Marty how, how it is being taught in the Philippines. And then, we are still trying to, to, to learn how they teach their math here. Kasi kailangan niya pa rin matutunan yung way nila dito. Kasi, di ba, iba naman, bas, ang mahalaga, matutunan niya yung pinaka-concept of, of that subject. Okay? So, hindi ka naman nahirapan. How about um, speaking in English because they don't speak Filipino at all? So, nahirapan ka ba when you're, you're you have to speak English at all times? Hindi. Hindi. But hindi ka nahirapan? Kasi, nag-learn na ako mag- Mag- Naglearn na tuto. Tatawag mo ako ng ng English. Sobrang sobrang sobrang. Oh, wala na siyang gulay in daddy. So, marunong naman kasi na siyang mag-English even before. So, in terms of language, hindi na siya nahirapan makipag-communicate with other classmates or teachers. Um sa English yun. Pero it's so hard to pronounce some words like com- com- comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> or it's actually comfortable. Hindi <laughs> okay lang. Kasi may English tayo sa Filipino. Yeah. Masanay tayo. Iba rin yung English nila dito. Pero may accent nila. May accent nila. Pina- napapahiya ka ba? Pag ganon. Hindi naman. Hmm. See? So that's yun yung one, one of the good thing here. Um Sanday na rin kasi sila na diverse ang mga tao mm-hmm. dito na hindi lahat they they know how to speak fluent mag English. Yes. So, wag kayong mag-worry sa mga anak nyo if they cannot pronounce Pero I think it. Pero kung sa mga bata lang naman, 
na pupunta dito from the Philippines uh-huh. kasi yung generation nila starting from Marty siguro from younger ng then Marty yung mga batang pupunta dito kasi parang marunong lahat mag-English oh, eh. oh. kasi parang nakikita ko lahat ng mga bata before tayo mula sa Philippines Lahat nag-English na eh. Lahat nag-English. Tapos halos lahat na nagpo-post ng friends natin sa Philippines. Eh, nagsastruggle yung mga anak na sa Filipino sa object mm-hmm. kung paano mag-Tagalog. Pag nag-Filipino accent ako with English, yung mm-hmm. American friends ko na understand English. Pero yes. you were doing it on purpose. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yun. So, in terms of, of being racist, wala naman ano. I mean, kung bakit hindi mo hindi ka makapag salita ng, you know, I mean the difference of the languages parang ganon um, okay, so do you ever do you ever been bullied in school? have you ever been bullied? hindi, pero before nag-bully ako sa nag cry pa ako that time ano ba, nag-no ka sa may bumuli sa'yo? ano ba? okay, yes na. may nag-bully sa'yo? okay, paano nabully? paano ka binuli? no names ha? no na Yung classmate ko nang bubuli sa akin sa lunch and, and said that I said the F word when he said it and I did not. Ah, okay. Hindi naman bullying. Oo, oh, hindi naman yung bullying. So, generation yung kasi sensitive. But there's another one, he also uh, tried to punch me. Pero you're friends with him already. Yeah. Hindi ba? Hindi na. Trying to punch you, pero... Uh, yeah, so kami guys, um, very open communication kami with him. So lahat ng nangyayari sa school, alam namin. Dun sa, sa, sa trying to punch him, I think that student daddy, ano eh, ano ba siya yung trying to be playful? Na hindi naman technically Minsan, bully. trying to be fi- play- playful siya, pero most of the time, bully talaga siya. Nanakita ah, okay. Siya. So bully talaga na nang ano ng estudyante? Hindi siya yung bully in a, in a sense na akanin pera mo, tutukin kita, sasaktan kita ako, ako pag magkakatako ng line, hindi. Mm-hmm. Siya yung bata na sumusunod pa rin siya sa rules. Pero yung, ano siya, more on anger management. Pag nagalit siya, kasi nasisigaw siya, magmumura siya. Ah, okay. He's still inappropriate to this day. Uh, up to this day, ganun siya. Nung, nung Friday, bago tayo ng weekend. So, be, it's like behavior behavior issue lang. Uh, so, issue. How, how does school handle it? Uh, may one time na nangyari ulit to na nagalit siya kasi nakot siya sa line. So, galit na galit siya. Pinagumura niya lahat ng bata. Narinig siya ng isang kasamahan ko, isang coffee mate, kaka-colleague ah, ko. So, may radio kasi kami hawak. Nag-radio siya sa parang psych ng school. Na, we have a friend here who needs help. Who doesn't wanna go back to his classroom. Yun. So, hayaan lang natin siya. Upo lang siya doon. Kasi pilitin natin, basta ako siya matitrigger. Hanggang doon patingin sa psych, kunti-unti siyang pinacify na, Okay, let's go. Let's go back to your classroom. Do you need help? Do you wanna take a break on my office? Yun. Punta sila sa office ng psych. Tapos kakausapin niya, kunti-unti. Pero after noon, uh, natitame daw naman siya. Yung after noon, susunod na araw, gano'n naman siya. <laughs> Basta huwag lang talaga siya matre. Kasi parang sa school, kaya siya itame. So oh, parang uh, anxious siya na merong trigger point lang kung kailan siya magiging gano'n. Ang problem, ang thing ko kasi, yung problem talaga ng bata is anger management. Ang point ko kasi, sa, sa, yes, sa school, mak- mak- makakontain siya ng mga teachers and staff. Sige, pwede, kaya, mm-hmm. doable. Pero pag uwi na naman sa bahay, same environment, same na naman pag-treat sa kanya. Tapos pagpasok sa school, kumbaga back to zero na naman sila. Pero, um, naka- malaki ba yung impact niya to other students? Like, nakakagulo ba siya talaga sa mga ibang estudyante? Uh, hindi naman. Kasi pag... O personal, ano lang talaga siya na behavior-wise, yun lang yung problema sa kanya. But he's not really like trying to bully everyone. Hindi naman. May mga friends din siya na tinatawag niya na good friends niya. Okay, so basically parang hindi naman to bullying talagang intentional ah, hindi naman. na Pili to bully sa- other people. It's just naman. that himself, ah. hindi lang niya makontrol yung sarili niya, mm-hmm. behavior-wise. Okay, so technically this this kid is just um, not intentionally mag-bully but mm-hmm. may um, anger management lang talaga na kailangang na-issue mm-hmm. with himself. Okay. And isa lang ba to or are there any other so, students? So, sa elementary siya lang nakikita kong ganun. Okay. So, for for everyone hindi <laughs> hindi alam no kasi kung bakit si Daddy mas 
nasasagot niya in behalf of the whole school because daddy is working in the in, in his school. Din ako. <laughs> <laughs> Great friends <laughs> <place> now. <laughs> no, daddy is working in a school district nila. Um in their school mismo in in elementary school as IA. Okay, ang next ang next um question ko is yung different staffing. Ano, kasi sa Philippines para mas maintindihan nila bakit alam mo and and anong 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 trabaho mo sa school no so, sa Pilipinas kasi ang teacher siya na lahat mapaturo in terms of lesson activities maghandle sa bata recess everything teacher lang natin sa school okay dito sa US guys they have different staff in school so they have their teachers their assistant teachers, sub teachers, the bar, right? They have the IAs, which is the instructional assistant, that is daddy. And then they have custodians. So, what is IA specifically? So, teachers, pag nagtuturo na ng subjects, those are the teachers, di ba? It can be teachers, the subject expert, the sub teachers, the assistant teachers. But the I, um, but the I A. Assistant teachers, teachers I A is not that. Hindi, may mga sub teachers pag wala yung pag absent teacher. Sa labas sila kumuha. Ayun nga, yun yung sub. Pero hindi yun sa kapag-elementary. Oo nga. So, uh, after nun, I A's or instructional assistants, they are staff um, who manages children in, 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 in recess and lunch, right? So, they don't handle um, students, hindi sila yung teacher na na nagahandle talaga sa kanila in terms of grades ganyan. So hindi sila yon. So sila, sila daddy, sila naman yung nagahandle in terms of the activities, recess or lunch time. Sila yung nagmamanage sa lahat ng estudyante. It can be like kinder, yung assignment nila iba-iba. Okay? Then next is custodian. Ito na yung mga mga halo-halong housekeeper, um, naglilinis ng sa school, nag uh, ano ng ng lunch sa trays, mga ganon, um, nag nag flow ng traffic, de ba? Pag may carpool, mga ganyan. Yun naman yung mga din yun. ay din yun. ay na rin din ba yon? Kasi ang ay white talaga yung ginagawa. From ay from recess to lunch, pwede. Kami, may, may naka-assign din sa umaga na sila yung nagta-traffic sa sasakyan para hindi traffic yung carpool. May pwede rin na, kunyari, may bilang nag-absent na reading teacher kaya math teacher, yung sped, ah, sped, ah, sped, sped, sped teacher din. Ihata ka din yung ay na pwede ka pa magturo ng gantong subject kaya ah, okay. ito ka pabasahan mo lang. Kasi wide talaga yung scope ng ay yon <laughs> kaya kaya alam ni daddy kung kung ano yung mga nangyayari in in actually the whole school nila yan so next i school activities and organization do you have any other, do you have school activities banak oh. ano like like green smart start does, does what is that i don't really know <laughs> Pero sa writing din, sometimes we will play Simon's What? Sometimes in writing, we will play Simon's Simon said. Simon said. Um, you have book club, right? Yep. Pero we are ready and ready. Ito yung in-encourage yung mga kids to, to read more. Parang they have like target goal um, na number of books na marireread yan yun yung book club nila and then they have choir you're part of the choir right anong ginagawa doon so may rehearsals lang sila like once a week and they 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 have the recording and then presentation yun lang do you have any other activities in schools in school <laughs> i think that's your okay um Okay, so how about your school lunch? Do you like your your ano? Tell us more about your school lunch. Your food, types of food, how long yung lunch? Yung how long I lunch I probably. I think it's like 
30 minutes. 30 minutes. And then sometimes it will be chicken and rice and I'd rather dress up like PB and J because I don't like their cut rice. <laughs> so hindi siya like white rice? Okay, so ayaw daw niya nung rice nila rito but he opted to eat PBJ, peanut butter jelly sandwich. Is it free? Can can you can you still get more if you like? No, so just one 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 food lang for per student. Um, do you have also drinks? Doon? Only milk, normal milk or chocolate. Apple juice. Ah, in a carton. So it's also free. And but you can also bring your own water bottle, right? Because they have dispenser in our fountain. Oh. You can also bring your own lunch, then. You can bring your own lunch, but you cannot you cannot get um food sa lunch na kapag may food ka, tama ba? Okay. And then sa lunch nyo, you cannot go go to your classroom while you're on lunch. Okay. So pag lunch nyo, lunch lang talaga. Okay, next is do you love your new school? Why do you love? I know do you ha, do you see any like why you love it most compared because to the Philippines? Uh, because of uh. <laughs> <laughs> Because of what? But do you love your school why? Because you can make lots of friends because that so bang so bang damage and and you and like when you accidentally make a mistake, they would they will not get mad at you unless you do it like more than five times. <laughs> okay. In some math, namin sobrang sobrang ingay kami. Even our math teacher told us just to be quiet for the past one hundred and fifty times. Can you differentiate you how how school here versus of school in the Philippines? So school in the Philippines. Yung lunch, you can eat sa classroom or outside. Pero sa school ko, sa cafeteria lang. Okay. How and, about... Uh -huh. And my recess lang, and my recess din dito, tas wala sa Pilipinas. Okay. Uh, so, Phili uh, how about uh, classmates-wise? Are they more friendly here? Okay, by my classmates, mo dito sa US. How they treat you? Are they okay? They treat me very good. They treat me like like one of their own friends. Some of them calls me Spanish or Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> and and like and almost some some of them calls me Filipinian. <laughs> Filipinian. <laughs> Okay, and how about teachers? Are they um, like very accommodating in terms of everything? If you don't understand, if you if you have questions, are they friendly? They are friendly. Do, do, they, do they have like patience? Are they more strict here or in the Philippines? So Ang mga Philippines teachers. So long, so long, so long. Mas strict sa Philippines yung mga teachers. And then, do you have like assignments like sa Philippines? I I mean assignments like um ho, uh how how do you say that? Sit to work. You may test kada ano? Wala. Mm. Meron din. Okay. And then uh you use uh wala kayo blackboard no? Meron. Mm. Ah, may blackboard din ba kayo? Mm. But you also use like your projectors, di ba? Yep. Oh yeah, tell us about your Chromebook. So what 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 is the purpose of that Chromebook? When when you go to your classroom in the beginning of the day, you have to complete your morning work. So Friday, all you have to do is just go to your Chromebook and then and then log into Art Hub. Genuine genuine do okay. Okay. So basically, your Chromebook nyo is like your andon na andon lahat ng mga sit work ganon. Not all. Okay. Pero so laging na ka open ng Chromebook nyo the whole class. Not the whole class. Okay. So may mga activities din kayo sa school. And then nagibay bahay ng sit mates. Sometimes every week and sometimes 
Seems evident. Nagpapalit ng seatmates. Okay. Um, ano pang masashare nyo? Oh, what else ka- do you wanna share? So, when when indoor recess tayo, when Mrs. Per- when our teacher tells us to like, I mean, I mean math teacher tells us to play like EDM games, some of some of my classmates instead plays random games like math games. Mm. And not EDM. What is EDM? Like, ano ba EDM? You log into EDM sa Chromebook mo and then and then you try to find the game John and then that's where Ah, parang um parang naka ano na talaga sa Chromebook nyo na games ganon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Math. That's that's where you also practice. It. Ah, okay. So parang they have like um own a parang in- interactive games na naka-incorporate ang subject doon instead of like strictly paper paperwork lang na na let's say multiplication tapos paper lang nasasagutan sa kanila para para hindi sila probably maging bored they make it into a game para doon sila makapag-practice ng math nila parang ganon sometimes you can also do paper i love fraction topic eh. okay so basically, are you enjoying your school? Yes. Do you have any hard time um, adjusting from from your new school or for for your new school? No, pero there's one one thing about school that I hate the most. What? Interrupting my good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yung my teacher also felt that day. Eh. Interrupting your good sleep. Tatutulog ka sa school. Ah, kasi maaga ang pasok. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ang bayan anak. Sobrang, sobrang aga. It's just seven. Hindi naman yung super, super aga. Six, ah, six. kasi six. Gumigising ka ng six. It's still not... Ganun din anak sa, sa Philippines. Nag-ano lang kasi, nag-pandemic kaya online-online. Pero, pag school time din nun, maaga din yon. Because dati kasi, hindi, ano eh, ang pasok niya ata eight nung nung hindi pa pre-pandemic but nung nag-pandemic dahil nag-virtual diba? so hindi ganun kaaga but dito 6 nagising na siya so yun lang um, sana na-enjoy nyo ang pag-sharing ng aking mag-ama in terms of school no? kung may question pa kayo hindi ko na alam kung ano bang gusto nyo malaman in terms of school and adjustment but basically wala naman siyang nag- hindi siya nahirapan to adjust in his new school again don't worry um wala hindi ah siguro dep- eh, hindi ko naman masasabi sa lap, sa buong Amerika ano pero sa amin sa city namin hindi naman siya nagwala siya naging problema with his classmates kasi at all times um kinakausap namin siya kung ano talaga nangyari the whole time so yun lang ma advice ko as parent um, make sure to always have time to talk to your children have open communication let them know ano nangyayari kasi kahit sobrang busy tayo to make a living, important pa rin na we're still there for them. Alam natin nangyayari sa kanila instead of just trying to to let them, you know, adjust on their own. ba? Kaya nga tayo parents to guide them. So, yun lang guys. Uh, thank you for watching and just comment down below if you have any question. Bye!